So are you going to ask me to dance? I, I don't know. I... I'm kissophobic, don't want to get too close to you Your mouth is a hurricane, something sweet before the pain I'm kissophobic, that body don't want to hold it now You loosen your dress, you put Being metal fabricator for me is it's just something that I grew up with. Like I'm not even know how to explain it. It's like in my genes. Like I, I I've been seeing it since I was two months old. It's almost like destiny in a way. What I know how to do best. I will say that. It's like 1% inspiration and 99% transpiration. My name is Rafael Portillo. And this is why I do this is my wall. This is metal fabrication at an artistic level. Doing? Going after our Bud Light. Did you close yours? I closed mine. I closed mine. I didn't close mine. Bob! They're drinking your Bud Light. That's it. I'm going in. Ready for anything with the new reclosable Bud Light Cool Twist bottle.
Hello? Dunkin' Donuts? Really? Yes! Yes, indeed. Thank you. Change of plans. All right. So, we've rounded up all the evidence regarding Dr. Black's murder, and we've decided to give you six completely random bystanders with no obvious crime-solving abilities the job of solving the case. Well, what are you going to be doing? Oh, we'll be at the Dunkin' Do- uh, uh, at the policeman's convention down the street. Uh, the constable and I are required to attend, so uh, we plan to hit that up. Uh, now then, uh, here's your evidence. And yours. Yours. We don't all have the same evidence. No, no, you do not. And, uh, there you are. If all the evidence is here, why don't we just share it now? Shut it. All right? Each of you will go from room to room trying to solve this crime. All right? You will be making speeches, accusations about where the crime was committed, who did it, and with what. Now, the person with the corresponding evidence will discreetly show that to the accuser without the rest of the group knowing. You will continue this until one of you is ready to make your final accusation, at which time you will return to this room and I will compare your theory with the incriminating evidence which I hold here in my hand. Good? Peachy. Have at it. By the way... One of you is the killer. All right, rule number one, never make fun of your person. Uh, we're their friends, not their punching bags. Okay, revision. Uh, we can be their punching bags uh, occasionally, or quite a lot, actually. Uh, but we never punch them. Rule number two, never be seen by anyone other than your person. Uh, your person will be able to see you no matter what, so there's no need to materialize. Can our persons feel us? You said they could see us, but... Uh, as long as a person believes, we're as real to them as I am to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Number three, make your person happy. Play with them, keep them from their math homework. Do whatever they want to do. These activities are essential to your person's transitional phase. This is the point in their lives where they feel most pressured to make friends, and some of them simply don't know how. You need to be there to remind them that they have something no one else does. Don't get too attached. Um, th there's a reason this is a, a temporary job. Uh, as soon as your person's transition phase is over, so is the friendship. Emily. Just go. Those girls don't know what they're talking about. Just go. I can't believe you anymore. Eventually, they all grow up. They stop believing in magic, and we cease to exist. At least to them. Be an imaginary friend is to get attached. <laughs> we exist to make children happy, but you know, let's face it, we wouldn't be here if they were the only ones who needed someone. Bye, buddy. Uh, you begin tomorrow, so uh, make sure to go home and get some rest. Barbara will call you with your meeting spots in the morning. Do you ever check up on your person? Or, you know, to see how she's doing? I'm headed home Yeah, but I'm not so sure Home is a place 
You can still get to by train. So I'm looking out the window and I'm drifting off to sleep with my face pressed up against the pain. The rhythm of my heart and the ringing in my ears is the rhythm of the southbound train.